Welcome to the Island of Jelly, a pink strawberry kid core city inspired by Barbie and childhood imagination. This super fun island is by Arden, and I'm gonna make sure to put Arden's Instagram, the dream address for Jelly, as well as where you can find the custom codes used on this island, all in the description box down below. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Animal Crossing content, and I will see y'all at the airport. Look at how cute this outfit is. <laughs> All of these goodies were left right outside of resident services, so that way, of course, when you decide to visit this island yourself, you can wear a super cute pink fun outfit. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the map before we begin this tour. Oh yes, oh yes, so many fun pink villagers. And we have two people living on this island. Of course, we have Arden, and then we have Mrs. W. I believe we are going to see a school at some point, and everything is fully decorated, so this might be a longer tour, so grab a snack if you want to, or feel free to pause this video and tour along with me. Grab your Switch yourself. For villagers, we have Vladimir, Puddles, Marina, Nana, or Nana. Nana, Nana, whatever. Okay, <laughs> Miranda. <laughs> then we have Freckles, Meringue, Paulo, Claudia, and of course, Gail. All right, let's go ahead and dive right on into it since we have so much to see. And here we have a cute little entrance. I really like when there's either an incline or a bridge right away. I just think it sets up so nicely. And might I just note how perfectly symmetrical everything is. It's adorable. And up this incline, we can already see this amazing pathing. The moment that I saw this, I got so excited. And we have a nice little view of resident services where you can maybe have a piece of cake or a crepe, it looks like. Get yourself some desserts right away, which who doesn't love that? And I guess let's explore this side first. Why not? Oh my goodness, it is so vibrant. Look at Paolo and Marina walking around. Everything is totally perfect. So pink, so bright. Even the little construction areas are super cute. And here we have a villager home. It doesn't look like anyone's inside, but looks like they have a library, which is adorable. A nice little bookshop or outdoor library situation. Ooh, and the beaches are decorated too. Look how cute. Hi, Paolo, would you like to come join me for a drink? Oh, he said no, he's not interested. That's fine. That's fine, plenty of fish. <laughs> this is so much fun. I love that this island was inspired by Barbie. And of course, it feels so perfect. Oh, look, and here are the little strawberries. What a cute code. We have confetti on the beaches too. Oh, and here is Ms. W, was that your name? School is in session. I am so excited to see the school. Let's explore the beach first though, since we're already here. Oh, oh my goodness, how cute. I love that there's one open seat right here to have a little date with the teddy bear. But yeah, let's explore the beach since we're here. Looks like we have a little picnic spot. Oh my gosh, this strawberry farm. <gasps> How cute is this? Oh, which villager lives here? Meringue, of course, of course. Meringue has the strawberry farm, it makes sense. Those are so cute. What a great use of the umbrellas. And then back here, we must be close to the school because we do have the vending machine. Oh, and look, there's Arden back there. We'll have to say hi in a second. So cute. Man, I wish we could go inside of Meringue's house, but she must be walking around. <gasps> Fun. Oh my gosh, look at the school bus. Okay, yeah, this is adorable. And I believe that this is the school. Oh my gosh, how cute. And we have a little playground, of course, for recess. Oh my gosh, I love the bubble machine. Always forget about the bubble machine, but it's just adorable. We have hopscotch over here. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, I don't know what I liked more, actually doing the hopscotch or just drawing the hopscotch squares. 
a little paper airplane. Okay, we have to go inside then and check out the school. Oh, how precious. <gasps> This is so much fun. Oh my goodness. This makes me want to get into Happy Home Paradise and redo the school <laughs> in Happy Home Paradise. Oh my goodness. What? So well made. Oh my gosh. And the lockers. The lockers on the back look amazing. Wow. This is so well done. And very, very smart to use the bookshelves. And of course, the blackboard block off the other rooms this is adorable such a great such a great house or school rather and that is oh it's a window for a second I thought it was a door I was like that is weird it's so far back okay that makes much more sense though and I guess we'll check out the upstairs oh fun and then we have a little indoor play area this is so cute. I'm obsessed. Just a little indoor play park. So much fun. Or I guess it's technically outdoors, but you know, it's more like a more like a balcony. Like a patio. A little different than the outdoor playground we saw earlier. Okay, so cute, so much fun. I have been debating whether or not I actually want to put a second house on my island and do something like this, like create it to be something totally different, but I don't know, I have no idea. Oh my gosh, the school bus is so good. So well made. And of course we already saw the peninsula over there. Ah, I love it, absolutely love it. And then, can I go this way? Oh yeah, it looks like we have a little, little wishing fountain, cute. Oh, and, oh, this is also a rock garden. Oh my goodness. I was like, why are there rocks right here? And then, hello, it is also a rock garden around the fountain, which is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's keep exploring. Man, there are so many codes on this island. This is so impressive. Also, I'm sure you can tell, but this island is set in springtime or cherry blossom season, which is so perfect. And here is our first villager home to explore. And it looks like they have a little rooftop patio up here, which is so cute. Almost like a little private tree house. Look at this view. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see the museum. Do you guys see it back there? There's like a pink palace. So adorable. Okay, well, we've got to go inside. Who lives here? I'm gonna guess Gail. I'm gonna guess Gail. Oh my gosh, I was right. <laughs> I promise I did not know that. And look at how cute your home is, Miss Gail. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so pink and so perfect. Whenever I think of pink villagers, I think of three immediately. Gail, Marina, and Meringue. Like those are the first three I think of just right off the top of my head. Obviously there's so many more, but I think of those three sweet girlies before any of the others. I don't know, when you think of a pink villager, who's the first one you think of? So adorable. Love it. And again, this pathing is just so, so cute. And I love how wide it is. I'm just like a sucker for like really wide paths because they're so easy to navigate. I see, and while we're back where we where we were earlier. Cute. Okay, so that's Gail's house. Little teddy shop. <laughs> oh, and here we have Nook's Cranny. 
adorable. Oh, I love the parking lot too. That's just so fun. And I like as well, let me just say, I know this is a very pink strawberry kind of island, but there are plenty of different pops of color as well. Like even like the carrots right here, they're kind of hidden, but like those, the green balloon, the blue car. I like that it has that differentiation. Oh, cute. And we have a little laundry facility this way. Love that. I love it. I feel like so many different laundry areas that I see on islands are just like the hanging clothesline. We don't see too many that actually have the washers, the dryers. Wait, can I open it? Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the laundry's running. And look at these duck ponds. I love it. Yeah, look at this museum. I know we kind of saw it a second ago, but how brilliant and fun is this like <laughs> it's so good just using the towers and then this arch to frame it it looks totally different so genius oh and i just noticed this path is actually different with the flowers <gasps> oh my gosh how cute because we were on the one with the road, but this one has a little flower print on it. Well, that is precious. A couple more villager homes, and it looks like a little cafe, which, hello, high chair. How sweet is that? It's like a full diner over here. Marina, come join me. Look at Paolo in the weeds, as you deserve, because you rejected me. Just kidding, I like Paolo. Sing for me, Paolo. And here's Vladimir's home. Then I wonder if this is Marina's home since uh, she's hanging out right here. Maybe, since there's a puddle? I don't know, let's see. Yep. That's always a fun game too, especially when, you know, the exteriors are customized for villagers, just like guessing before you go in, like who lives here? Such a fun floral tunnel. And we're at a gym. <gasps> Stop, how fun is this? Cute. Oh, I need to walk today. This is reminding me I need to, I need to get my steps in. How cute. Oh, I love a little gym. And then back here, it looks like we have a tennis court. So smart because we don't have, of course, a tennis racket and ball like as an item in the game, which why we should. We have like a baseball bat and a glove. We have a volleyball, we have a basketball, but no tennis gear. So instead of a volleyball net, this is a tennis net. I'm gonna change the score. There we go. <laughs> so adorable. I love that. I love this little outdoor gym. I think it's so cute. Definitely giving early Animal Crossing nostalgia for me. And here's an art area. So many just very cute themed spots. From the gym, the diner, there are so many great areas. Well, I guess let's go up this incline because I am now intrigued. Also, is this a wait for me to like, yeah, to pump iron? There we go. I'll get my reps in. Here we go. It counts. It counts when you work out in Animal Crossing. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that it actually counts in real life whenever you're doing it in Animal Crossing. <laughs> and a pool. Oh my gosh, cute. And then even while you're at the pool, you can get yourself a berry vanilla soft serve. <laughs> cute. Oh my gosh. And this code for the water actually has the cherry blossoms printed on it. That is super cute. Gosh, this is amazing. I appreciate too how everything is so spacious, like the pathing, the areas, like it's not cramped and cluttered, which is something I struggle with when I decorate, but everything is like very easy to like walk around over here, which is so cute. I want to know how to get up to this little birthday spot. Let me find that. 
Is it over here? Yeah, I figured there would be a ladder somewhere. Fun. Oh, and it's right behind the museum. I did not even see this earlier. How cute is this? Like a little ice cream bakery situation and a birthday party. Happy birthday, doll. I love that too. How cute is it that at almost every single table, there's like one empty seat and then one seat has been filled. Just so precious. I would love, oh my gosh, imagine seeing a villager just hop up and have a little tea party. <laughs> okay, I guess let's explore the back first. Can't decide which way I wanna go, but I wanna see this Able Sisters. Oh my gosh, so many princess outfits. Cute, even the little crown and jewels. Oh, this is adorable. Definitely makes me want to play with Barbies. I had a pink, I'm sure, I think a lot of people had this Barbie house, especially if you grew up, you know, in the early 90s. Um, but I had a Barbie house that had an elevator. It had an elevator that would actually go up and down. Like you could put your Barbie on this little plastic stand to stabilize her. Yeah, it was fun. What's this? Oh, it's the pool, right. I'm getting distracted. Anyway, this island is so cute. Oh my gosh, how fun is this? What? Look at this gorgeous field. Whoa. This is so pretty. Oh, oh. Ooh, excuse me, I just sneezed. I said this in another video, but, and I'm, should I make the joke again? I was gonna make a joke about the pollen and the flowers, Animal Crossing flowers. I'll spare you though. I mean, I kind of already made, made the joke just by explaining what the joke was. <laughs> yeah, I'm sneezy today, I don't know why. Oh, fun, and we get to go in another villager home, it looks like. So who, who lives here in this cute little house? Oh, and Flora, I always forget about, I have, I literally have Flora on my island, but she's another pink villager that I think of. And I don't think she's on this one. Hello, Freckles, look at your strawberry wallpaper. Freckles is a cutie. Oh, I love it. I love like the little KitchenAid mixer. We even have smoothie in the blender over there. Ooh. Freckles, would you like a strawberry smoothie? Here. Oh wait, I thought it would turn on. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'll, I will not touch your kitchen appliances anymore. Yeah, wait, I don't, I don't think Flora was on this lineup. She's not. She is not. But we have another villager home right here. Oh, this one's cute, a little bit of purple happening. This is, oh, what's her name? The duck, right? Well, we just saw freckles. Yeah, this duck. What's her name, May Mayel? What's your name? Miranda. Miranda. You, oh, I love her little bathtub back there. Definitely a home fit for a queen. And how creative too, using these curtains almost as like a partition between the bed and then the sofa that's right in front of it. That is really clever. I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes. So cute, what a great little house. Now, let's go up to another village. All of the villagers are inside on this side of the island and none of them were inside on the other side of the island, <laughs> except for Gail. Cute, I love the little Little tricycle right here. Oh, and we still have the main house to explore too, so. Yeah. <gasps> Claudia. Claudia. So cute. Uh, this is so smart. 
This is so, so smart. I'll keep panning. But the way that the two twin beds are pushed together in a way to make it look like a double bed or a queen or whatever, and then using the medium partitions to kind of like frame it with a headboard footboard. Perfect. I love it. And I love too, like all of these villager homes while still pink are still very different. You know, they're all very, very appropriately decorated for each individual villager. Okay. Woohoo. So I guess we'll go this way. Which way have we not gone yet? Yeah, we'll go this way. Oh, is this a little toy store? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, how cute. I swear using the display cases is a very genius way to make structures. Hi, Morang. I was just talking about how much I like you. Vladimir, hello, sir. I wanna make sure that I see as much as I can. Let's check out. Oh yeah, the beaches. Sometimes I forget to look at the beaches. I don't know why, I need to. And then this is right where we were, right? Yeah, yeah, this is where we were. Wait, now I'm second guessing myself. It is. Yeah, okay, I don't, that was quite a uh, brain fart moment on my behalf, I apologize. So cute. Yeah, this was Vladimir's house? No, this is Paolo's house. Oh, cute. We saw that cute toy store. Oh, we are right next to resident services again. What? That is wild. And then this is Gail's house, right? No. Wait, who lives here in front of us? It is Puddles. We have not seen Puddles' house. Oh, I like how Puddles has the little fenced in yard. It feels like very private. So, so cute. Wow, Puddles, you have like your own little private garden back here. Little private garden and an entire like booth. We have like a whole booth for meals. Wow, so good. So cute. What did we do before the partition walls, I swear? Or the accent walls. Or actually just being able to decorate villagers' homes. Super cute. Look at this park. Hi, Mrs. W. Look at this little park. Super cute. Ooh. This beach is decorated. Oh, I love the birthday sign turned backwards. That's so smart. Oh my gosh, a beach carnival. Yes, please. Yes, this is giving me pink Santa Monica Pier vibes. Cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. They did a really good job making everything match with like this, these kind of items, you know? Like this one is so adorable. I wonder how the duck villagers feel about this game. Probably not great. You know? Probably don't particularly like that game. <laughs> oh, so silly. Oh, and then this is how we connect back up here. Amazing. I could have gone to the left quite easily. Now, we still have not seen the main home. We haven't. 
Oh, I say that and then look at, look, lo and behold, boom. Manifestation is real, guys. This is precious. I love this little planter situation right here. That is so cute. Okay, well, there is no time like the present. Let's go ahead and go on in. Oh my gosh, how fun! Look at how fun this is. I can't remember the name of this flooring. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know, confetti party? Is it party flooring? Oh, that is so much fun. I love it. In the little paper chains hanging. When is the last time you made one of those? It has been a while. But I remember making them and I just would like make them as long as possible. <laughs> Cute. And it looks like the rooms are blocked off except for upstairs. So let's take a peek upstairs. Oh, fun. Just like a little playroom. Oh, it's so sweet. I'm going to decorate today. This tour has made me want to definitely work on some interiors like i want to go back on happy home paradise and do a different school change it up a little bit oh my gosh what a fun island and we still have a little bit more to see too Now let me make sure, I'm gonna take a peek at the map because I know we've seen all of the structures except for the campsite. Yeah, we have not seen the campsite yet. So let's make our way that way. Oh, this is genius. Why have I never thought to do this? Putting a round counter right here in front of one of the gazebos. That is pretty brilliant. Making it into a little store like that. So smart. Hello, I have not said hi to you yet. Hello. Yes, here is Arden's Instagram. Again, it will be linked in the description box, but please go give Arden some love, especially in regards to this so cute island. Did I just say so cute island? Super cute island. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> Words are hard today. I need some coffee. Meringue. Oh, here is the campsite. Of course, I started walking this way and then didn't even, didn't even continue on the path. Cute. I love it. I like how it's very like central too. I feel like campsites are usually thrown on a beach or tucked away somewhere completely different, but not in this case. It is like a very, very central in a prime location. What a fun island. Oh my goodness. And what a better place to end this tour than right here at this absolutely gorgeous field of flowers and glowing moss balloons. <laughs> I absolutely love it. You guys, again, please go give Arden some love. Thank you so much, Arden, for letting me tour your adorable strawberry colorful kid core island. I had so much fun. I'm sure you could tell. And you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel too for new Animal Crossing videos, the Let's Play series, all that fun stuff. I hope y'all are having an amazing one wherever you are in this big old world and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.